Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to another 10 minute travel. I've got a really exciting and romantic and exotic destination to talk about today. And I'm pleased to welcome Vicky Lubick, who is with me here with uh, Paul Gauguin Cruises. And we're going to take a look through her presentation and do some dreaming. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Leslie, uh, for giving me 10 minutes to talk a little bit more about Paul Gauguin Cruises. And we are a small ship, 332 guests, that sails in Tahiti and French Polynesia year round. And we've been doing that for more than 20 years. A lot of people will ask me, where is Tahiti? Actually, there's a lot of confusion. Often people think Tahiti's right close to where Fiji is, but it's actually about 4,000 kilometers away. Tahiti is south of the equator, the same distance as Hawaii is north of the equator. But do you know Tahiti in a year gets the same amount of tourists as Hawaii gets in just seven days? So that's what it's all about is just this beautiful unspoiled paradise. Uh, the islands are officially called French Polynesia. There's 118 islands and they take up an area in the ocean about the size of Europe, but really only the landmass the size of Prince Edward Island. So it's an eight hour direct nonstop flight from Los Angeles and you're in your own little beautiful paradise. Mm. Now, Leslie, I know, of course, Leslie has traveled uh, to Tahiti and uh, to French Polynesia a couple of times and been on a Paul Gauguin cruises. So I know you'll have a few things to, to add to this as well. Yeah, um, definitely good memories. Yeah, for sure. So the secret to our success is the size of this vessel. It's large enough to offer a luxury experience, but small enough to get close into the port like this. The ship was actually built with a shallow draft and that gives it the, the ability to get it close into the destination like that. In terms of life on board the ship, really thanks to our all-inclusive pricing, our guests spend more time just enjoying the laid back atmosphere of the islands and the destination and less time worrying about every little detail. So everything's taken care of from your gourmet dining to your onboard gratuities, to your non-alcoholic and your alcoholic beverages and just so much more. So it's a, it's a great value because it is all inclusive. Really it's a, about the only all inclusive uh, that is offered in French Polynesia. Now, one of the things we have uh, on board that um, uh, no one else has either are our Gauguins, and they are a troop of Polynesians. They are really the heartbeat of this vessel and the experience, and they are our Tahitian ambassadors. So they greet you when you arrive. They're your hostesses. They love to sing and dance and just some of the most lovely, amiable people you can ever imagine meeting. I'm sure you found that as well, Leslie, when you were in the destination, right? Indeed, we had some good lessons on board as well as, as to how to arrange flowers, the little crown of flowers that you wear on your hair. I, I don't think anybody can do it as good as they can, though. <laughs> yeah, one of the evenings when you come down to dinner, you come down and right uh, on the floor out in front of the dining room is just every kind of flower you can possibly imagine. And they create these uh, lays, the neck and then the haze are the ones in the hair and they um, pass them out to the guests as well. And you can sit with them and, and try to make your own as well. But mm -hmm. as much as um, uh, we want to bring our guests to French Polynesia to experience the destination, we want them to leave understanding everything there is about this uh, lovely destination and the history and the culture and the people, because uh, more than anything, we are really about a destination more so than just a ship. Mm -hmm. The ship's great, but it's um, a beautiful way to see this uh, amazing destination. Now. Oh, I'm sure you have um, th many things, stories you can add about the crew because they are exceptional too. <laughs> they agree, they uh, will remember your name after the, the first time they've met you. They'll <clears throat> remember how you had your steak cooked the night before and they love to anticipate guest needs and uh, just pamper our guests in every way possible. Mm -hmm. And there are so many repeat cruises, aren't there, uh, Vicky, that come back year after year to Paul Gauguin and... Uh, they, they love seeing return visitors. Right. And, you know, it, it's actually surprising because I think a lot of people think of this as a bucket list destination that they'll go once and then they can check it off their list. But mm -hmm. as soon as you go, you start to realize that each of the itineraries are quite different mm -hmm. and uh, unique and different things to experience. So it's very easy to do everything from a seven to a 14 day sailing and experience very different things just depending on the itinerary that you sail on. 
Now, I'm sure you went down to our marina as well. The marina comes down off the back of the ship and you can paddleboard and kayak right off the, the back of the marina. Oh, this was just the best part, being anchored there because with the Paul Gauguin, you're generally in the lagoon itself and you've got the whole world there at your fingertips and you don't have to be that adventurous. I'm not a great adventure person, but it was so wonderful just to slip into that beautiful water and go canoeing. I haven't tried the paddle boarding yet. Okay, yeah, a lot more people are paddle boarding than, than used to. We used to have windsurfers, but we, we changed them in for paddle boards because mm -hmm. so many people do love to paddle board. And, and when you say you're not that adventurous, you know, I'll just say I, I am not either, but this is a great destination for snorkeling, uh, scuba diving as well. We have a PADI certified dive program right off the back of the, um, the vessel as well. We'll take people out diving, but because the, the water is uh, so warm and calm, and the marine life is just so rich. You can snorkel, be standing in the water up to your chest and be able to see you know, every type of marine life that you could possibly imagine from um, small sharks. I have to say, we get, we get like five, tip, uh, five foot um, reef sharks and lemon sharks mm -hmm. and stingrays and just every kind of coral and uh, fish species that you can possibly imagine. And you can get, see all of that just by standing in the water, really, or glass bottom That's boat. True. Yeah, and they eat, really the, the sharks. Just so you know, you could you can't touch them even if you try. They take <laughs> off too fast. But the stingrays, well, they'll come right up up against you, right? Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a very nice way to do it and uh, to be able to just really experience the the marine life as well as lots of excursions we have where you can go up into the islands on. Um, uh, jeeps and uh, safari kind of trips mm -hmm. that will take you up into the islands as well. So there's a lot more than just marine life and sun and sand in the destination as well too. Mm -hmm. Uh, here I just I had a picture sorry I jumped by that quickly but I had a picture of our uh, scuba diving just to remind myself to tell you that we do have PADI certified dive program right from the vessel there and um, multiple different types of dives that you can do. Uh, here's my highlight actually is Motumahana. Mine and, too. Yeah. <laughs> and it is, a Motu is a little islet in French Polynesia. And in Motu Mahana, um, we have, Taha is actually known for vanilla. Tahiti is known for two things, vanilla and cultured pearls. And um, the uh, islands, they say, as you sail by, you can actually smell the vanilla. But the mm. water here is 30 degrees year round. Uh, it is crystal clear. You can, you know, it's a fun day. Everyone's drinking out of coconuts. And when you get tired of the coconuts, we've got the floating bar here and a lavish <laughs> barbecue and uh, lots of lounge chairs. We bring the paddle boards and the kayaks from the ship out mm -hmm. this day. But you can walk out into the water 15 minutes and you're up to your chest in bath water, warm water. It's, uh -huh. it's a highlight. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. And then uh, um, contrary to that, also we have in Bora Bora, we have a private beach. And in the beach that we have on Bora Bora, the only thing there are sand and trees and a bar. That's it. So <laughs> you don't even have lounge chairs. You just take your uh, towels from the ship and you lay right in the sand. It reminds me of Gilligan's Island. This is, the, well, you know, they say Bora Bora. It's, first of all, it's one of the most romantic places in the world. But they mm -hmm. say there's a painter's palette of blues. And you can really see that in this picture with all the different oh, yeah. blue colors going out into the ocean. And then you've got this picture-perfect view of Mount Otamanu, which is mm -hmm. iconic in the background here as well. So everyone's taking selfies on that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I know we don't, it's a quick presentation today, so I don't have a lot of time to really talk about our itineraries, but I just want you to know that we do everything from a seven night itinerary up to 14 nights that will include the Tuamotus, which are great for diving, the Cook Islands, Marquesas, and then we do a itinerary that sails across four different archipelagos and goes all the way from Tahiti into Fiji and then return. We do that once, once a year, so everything from seven to 14 days. Yeah, tell us about the weather, because... Yeah, you know, that's always a question that, that I do get. It's always warm. It, it's uh, average temperature is 30 degrees year round. But mm -hmm. we do get a bit more rain from about the end of November till the end of February. Uh, typically, what will happen is it's beautiful, sunny all day, and then you'll get a 45-minute torrential downpour. And then mm -hmm. it'll be clear for a couple of days, and then you might get a little bit of rain a few days later. It's, it's very unusual to get multiple days of rain. Mm -hmm. But... If that's if you're the kind of person that rain is going to spoil your vacation, kind of avoid 
you know, anything from October till maybe the, even the end of March. But, you know, in saying that I've been in um, October and I've been in March and not had any rain at all. So yeah. it just yeah, depends like predicting the weather here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I just think if it's, if, if you really dislike rain, but it's just like liquid sunshine, you know, it's still <laughs> yes. warm. You don't have to shovel it. So it's all no. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We certainly have enough of that. Tell yeah, us for sure. Special. I, I like specials. Yeah. Well, we have a Canadian resident special and uh, every single sailing we have is either 20, 20% or 10% off for Canadians. And mm -hmm. our pricing right now starts at $4,016 US for Canadians. And that even includes your flight out of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So that's your the flight, your transfers, a day rooms. If your flight arrives early in the day, we include day rooms. And then everything, as I said, once you're on board the ship, everything's uh, taken care of. And mm -hmm. as you know, Tahiti is quite an expensive destination once you're there, if you were to do a land-based uh, vacation. So the great thing is, is that you've got everything included in terms of multiple dining venues and uh, lots of variety and choices. So once once you've booked and paid, everything is included. So you don't have to worry about any of that uh, once mm -hmm. you're on board. What a fantastic overview, Vicky. Thank you so much for for taking us on this little journey. If you're interested in knowing more information or having more details of those Canadian specials, uh, give me a call. I've been to Tahiti a couple of times. My agent Donna has as well. We'd love to help you. Uh, this is really a unique vacation for sure. Thank you, Vicky, for coming along and uh, walking us through this. My pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day.